Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 76 of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> That's a hand. And we're looking for his gun. No, that is... Why is there, like, an enemy? It's showing a red dot. Or is it because it's up here, maybe? Oh, we can plug in. Okay, uh, plug uh, ja Jack in. Okay, let's see if we can solve this. Ouch, this is 1C, BD, E9, 55, and 55. So 1C, BD, E9, 55, 55. Okay, 1C. B D E nine fifty-five fifty-five Okay, what did we get? So we got both two and three, right? Eight hundred and ten, yes. What is this? Uh, it's showing. <laughs> what is it? Uh, huh. Mm, there's another one. Stapler, jeez. I really question why these guys are carrying around the stapler with them or on them. Zuo. Stapler, like, yeah, why are they? Why do they carry a stapler? Where is this weapon? And I think we can jack into this. Okay, here. No, inside, okay. Oh, we can't break that window, huh? Hold on, anything in here?
Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. What the hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Brought a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. He must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Okay, let's save this because we're going to break this. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. 55. I see, I see. E9. Uh, okay. You know, we can have. Is there an E9? No. We have. No. I see E9. Where are the E9s? Oh, we do 55. No, there's no 55. I see. So E9. Oh, the only E9. Okay. We can do I see E9. I see 55. 55. And then another I see, right? I see. E9. I see. 55 55 I see I see E9 I see 55 55 No no I see E9 I see 55 55 I see I see E9 I see 55 55 I see okay I see E9 I see 55 55 I see Okay, let's save this so we don't have to do that puzzle again. Are we seeing purples? No, those are too far. I don't think they're here, right? Sent you. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? 
Yorinobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? The pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Mm-hmm. Should we just shoot this guy? Knock Hellman out? Who are you? Not a fan. Come closer. Take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Okay, can we not... Why is Johnny there? I'm trying to see if we can actually access these things. Nope. Nothing? Uh, call Takamura? Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. That's true. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Okay, so uh, pick up, uh, pick up Hellman. Jeez, come on! It's doing auto save again. Okay, we finish this. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Sounds like there's a lot of people coming in. Looks like your new Chimba's in here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few old accounts. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. That's all I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure, right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're Ronaldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies, I told him what happened, and he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you, to Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family, 
And Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Oh, good thing we didn't have to buy the... Good thing we did not buy the bike. How do we... <laughs> yes, yes. We got a freebie bike. I almost saw, I was so tempted to buy the a bike because we had a hard time in the car. Uh, car's not bad, but uh, at least we got a freebie bike. Cool, cool. It worked out in our favor. That's fantastic. Okay, where are we? Life during wartime. Talk to Hellman. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand. Construct, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And dry. you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arasaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. On 
unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Zeus, the one who's gonna help us. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Jeez, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. This is costing me time. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You're just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gong's fucking useless without him. Me. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Whoa. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. Oh, Victor. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhuman. That is not me. You will see the difference. 
I will give you full bucket. No. <coughs> See that? Fuck me. Just look at that. Wow. Sons of bitches. You fucking Boy, pitiful petty clepper. Lacking the balls. That's your problem. Got exactly no rep in this town in the tombs to match. Gotta go. Hang in there, bud. You know what? I get the feeling this grinds was really turning you on. Mm -hmm. Bet you see worse. Area hostile? I don't understand why we couldn't just stay in the car. Meet Takamura? What happened? Really? He suddenly just... We just left him up there, right? Really? That is really crazy. Yeah, we were here. Uh, no more. Or here. Nope. Yeah, this is the one. We came out, we peeked all over the place. And Takamura is not around. Very interesting. Oh, that is a turret. Let's stay away from the turret. Okay, let us save this. Life during wartime. Okay. What? What is it now? Load. Uh, give me danger. Oh. Look at all this auto saves. If we don't constantly trim it down, our hard disk will be so full of all of these junk auto saves. This is just ridiculous. This is bad programming. And when we are pruning this, we might actually, we might accidentally prune one of these, and then we are, we're totally screwed, right? We have to replay the whole thing again. Okay, there goes our timer. So I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye.